going on my name is dj a9zt and we're back with wwe champions and we're here to talk again about skill plates and this time we are going to be talking about basic plate escape artist during each submission turn this superstar has a 33 percent chance to automatically break 30 submission gems now i've got this equipped to lita right now and so i went out on the road and i thought who's the person with the most submission turns to give us the most chances to show that we could break out of this submission and i found charlotte flair here match 19 hell mode now uh, i should have went over this while we were still in here remember you have to have a legendary strap with all five slots unlocked in order to put the skill plate on and i went over it before i believe it was around 60k strap parts total to get all the way through it or it was 40k or something i don't remember Go back to my first video about these skill plates and legendary straps. I got the numbers in there for you. But I believe we actually did that when we were building the strap for Lita. So we got this uh, ability now. On some males, it might be more worth it. But I'm only allowed to use this on the road. And so I'm not going to find opponents like Edge Trickster, Andre Trickster, people that make all those submission gems like that. Note that this skill plate going against Trickster Andre or Trickster Edge, who put all them random submission gems down and rely on them like edge for those leech gems if this ability activates when you swipe during that you're gonna wipe all of those off the board and he's gonna be left with no leech andre would be left with no boss gems after his sub and so on and so forth so anybody that's needs to leave behind specialty gems from their submission this is the counter to that so let's get out here and take a look at it we're gonna go battle charlotte flair and one thing of note with this too if you're using this skill plate on somebody you kind of take away the need to use the submission coach for that class so you can free that up for another person double up some damage coaches i didn't pull it up we'll take a look in screen in here i did go ahead and put i have razar and king of kings on here razar at 9k will start you with one extra blue mp and then he also makes four random uh, moves that make green gems make four more green gems. King of Kings moves that make green gems make two more. So we're adding six to both of these random gem moves that Lita has. And then with Trickster Andre, we're going to get an extra blue MP on a blue match. And then instead of having to use a sub coach, I'm able to put Asuka on there for the Berserk damage. So if I lose so much percentage of my health in one turn, I'll do extra damage for X amount of turns. So... I'm sure you all know how the Berserk coaches work by now. So I did get a blue uh, break on turn one. So that's going to be ideal. So turn two, that's the idea with this move set for Lita. Turn two, you already got your blue moves ready and I didn't have to use Lawler to do that. And now we're able to turn nine red into green and the nine black into green. Now, I do need to let her charge up and do the submission, or the whole premise of this video is for nothing. So, I'll be a little slow to, to put her down completely. Yeah, let's hit her hard one more time. Oh, look at that. The blue's already pretty much ready. I mean, she's still got 356k health, so I got to pound her at the beginning. But I'm going to have to let her fill that sub at some point. Choose five green to swap to blue. Recycling Machine Lita. And this'll be it. No breaks, but I could break blue here. Match going well so far. Nope. 
Charlotte Flair's talent is 2,000 above Lita's for this, too. There we go. Get that yellow charged up. Go ahead, get your yellow charged up. Oh, that's a lot of green. All right, Charlotte's in position to take over the match. Here comes the yellow, subcharged up. Let's see what happens in here. Okay, random chance to break 30 sub gems. Boom! First hit. All of them broken. We're out. All of them broken. We're straight out. Skill play amazing. Guys, that's absolutely fantastic. Right when she was supposed to take over the match. Look how quickly the tide of the match turned. Look how quickly the tide of the match turned around there. We should have both been not charged there. But now, I'm getting all my stuff in and she's not charged at all. We will see if she gets to put me in the sub again this match. I don't know if she's going to make it that far. Lita is a recycling machine, but her damage is kind of low. The match takes a while. You've got to really spend some time. All right, five. This this should be good. Once you get the board set up enough, this will be a lot of blue. I don't know if she's kicking out. No, not after that. Oh, maybe. Yeah, she's out. Let's throw off here somewhere. Can we give her that yellow? Oh, don't tell me I have to break the yellow. Give her yellow. That'll charge her. Alright, let's do this again. Let's let her put us in this. And let's see how quickly I can get out here. Okay, that one didn't hit. That one didn't hit. Two. Three. Third turn. Boom. Third turn and we're out that time. Pretty awesome, guys. Worst one there of the match. Took three turns to get out of that sub. All right, let's finish her off. We'll go in. We'll try it one more time. See if it goes any better or worse. I just want to give two matches at least. I want to see if it'll go at all and not. In the in you know, this is the the most turns I could find on a worthy opponent on the road. So nobody else had a submission coach on them. If you go up to the top tour, Ronda, Naomi, Asuka, all of them only have three turn subs, so I thought it would be better because if you could go six turns and it doesn't activate the whole time, then then you'll know it's not that great. But three turns at worst that time. First turn and then three turns. That first one really, really helped because it like I said, she was just about to hit a six turn sub and take all my move points away, but instead I was left fully charged and she was left with nothing. All right, let's heal up. Let's get back out there. Let's do this one more time. Okay, didn't get blue turn one that time. I'm going to leave her the yellow. 
Normally, I'd go to block yellow right here. She can have it as we want her to charge up. I mean, she could have did me a solid and saved me the blue gems. Okay, subs charged. Here we go. Oh, she didn't hit it. She chooses not. Chooses not to submit. All right, here we go. Red into green. Got a crit there. Black into green. This one's going to definitely put the pin on. All right, let's see. Hit it. There we go, Charlotte. There we go. Let's see if we can get out quick. One turn. Two turns. Three turns. Fourth turn. A little worse than the first match, but fourth turn and out. I mean, you use this against somebody like, say, Andre the Giant Showboat that's going to be rocking a ten-turn submission on you in a feud. And you can certainly speed things up against that. Because that's one of the worst things when you have to... I mean, a lot of people won't use him on offense because he's that slow. But it stinks when you have to go against him. You have to deal with at least that one really slow match. Unless you put him down quickly before he gets his rhythm set. But Slow matchup, man. Until the women get to four-star gold, the matches are usually pretty slow. Alright, like, I want you to submission me, but I have to start hitting stuff, because this is just taking too long. Alright, let's see if she loads up here. I'm getting handled in this match this time. I shouldn't have let her jump on me at the beginning like that, huh? It's fine. I, I don't even have to win. I have no incentive to win this match. I just want to check odds on escaping subs. So, we're going to get submission next turn. If we can stay alive long enough... We might get a third chance this time. All right, here we go. One turn. Two turns. Third turn out. So, these are going to be good. Uh, in, I mean, by the looks of it here off of these two matches, these are going to be good against people with real high turn submission counts. 
maybe not as useful against the lower turns, although you could get out on the first turn. It's possible. Definitely possible. I don't know if we're going to live long enough to see a third chance at it in this match. Looks like it's going to be close. Come on, keep her down for the count. Oh, she's straight out. <laughs> straight out. No cascades. Oh, I need her to hit that submission. I can't have her beat me before. Alright, do I win the match or do I... What can you do? Black turns to green, it's liable to end the match. I'm going to wait a turn and see if she can put me in that submission. Got the pin meter where I want it. Oh, extra turn. Alright, we could have beat her there. Still would have won the match. Still would have won the match. Let's see. Let's see the submission here. Come on, get me straight out and let me win this match. Get me straight out. Where's the break? Oh, first turn, no. Second turn, no. Didn't save me from losing that match, so. Definitely, uh, each time it got me out, and I'm confident it would have got me out before six turns there, but, uh, yeah, so definitely it could free you up, uh, submission coach on somebody who's gonna be battling against high turn submission wrestlers in a feud or in showdown. Or whatever it is you're playing, if there's a tour, whatever. Uh, definitely just more options up top. And not completely game-breaking. Unless unless I said, like, of course, if you're going against Edge Trickster or Andre Trickster, you could completely change the complexion of the match against them. So, what do you guys think about this skill plate? Do you like this one? Who do you want to use it on? Who do you want to use it against? Let me know down in the comment section below. While you're down there, click the thumbs up, put a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton, and I appreciate you all for doing so but uh with that said until next time guys peace if you enjoy my content and would like to support the channel the best way to do so is to give it a like rating with a thumbs up underneath and hey consider subscribing to stay up to date with the latest content now let's get into today's video